Hi there, Michael here. One of the more, at least in my opinion, underappreciated plugins in Immersive Audio is Waves Immersive Wrapper plugin. In case you have never heard of that plugin, the Waves Immersive Wrapper allows you to load or wrap plugins that can act on mono channels and have them work in a large variety of multi-channel layouts, ranging from traditional surround such as 5.1 to Dolby Atmos layouts up to 9.1.6 in a multi-mono mode. I did a video about the Waves Immersive Wrapper and how that works in detail about a year ago. I'm going to leave a link to that video in the description below. I encourage you to check that out. It used to be that the Immersive Wrapper only allows loading in other Waves plugins, but not that long ago, Waves released an update that can now wrap any VST3 plugin that can act on a mono channel. And while Waves did not change much in terms of the overall functionality of the plugin, I felt that this feature alone justifies a separate video on my channel. So without further ado, let's open up Reaper and check out the VST3 loading capabilities of Waves Immersive Wrapper plugin. So I'm going to work with Reaper today and I'm going to work on a Mac, but as almost always, everything that I'm going to show you works on Windows in exactly the same way. The session that I'm going to use is the same session that I used last time when I demonstrated the Illusonic plugins and we used the Illusonic plugins to upscale stereo to 9.1.6 and then again back to bad RL just for demonstration purposes. So I'm using the same session here. The session contains just one track, which is an AI generated track and I like to use AI generated tracks for copyright purposes. As I said that a couple of times, nobody can claim copyright on those because it is AI generated. So that's actually an advantage. At least that is the theory. So uh, let's just have a brief listen. So what we have here is really uh, just a very, very simple track. And uh, what we're doing here is we're upmixing that to 9.1.6 with the help of the Illisonic Immersive Upmixer. Once again, if you're interested in that particular plugin, I did a review or actually a preview of that plugin because it's still in beta phase last week. Um, it's, it's really cool uh, and it turns the stereo track into an immersive uh, 9.1.6 track. And then in, in order for you to actually hear what I'm doing, I need to bring that back to a stereo track or in this particular case to a banal track. So I'm using the banal renderer from Illusonic to bring that back to two channels. And that's essentially what we have here. And once again, I don't speak French, uh, so the AI generated track is in French. I just hope there is no fancy language in there. If there is, YouTube is going to tell me. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to look at the functionality of the Waves Immersive Wrapper plugin. Now I'm not going to go through all the features because I already did that, so don't expect a full review or a full tutorial of the Immersive Wrapper. I'm going to leave a link to my original tutorial in the description below. Waves didn't really change much of the functionality of the Immersive Wrapper. What they did though is they added the possibility to load in VST3 plugins and this is what we're going to check out. So let's first add the Waves Immersive Wrapper plugin so let's search for waves and uh, if you are, have been working with immersive plugins um, waves actually has a very very particular approach and that is that they provide a plugin for each individual layout uh, channel layout and that has its advantages and its disadvantages you know if you if you work most immersive audio plugins the way they work is that you select the channel layout within the plugin um, the advantage of that is that you have essentially one plugin and then you select the channel layout the disadvantage is that that can sometimes be a little bit tricky so sometimes the um, Digital Audio Workstation does not recognize that particular channel layout, so there can be quite a few challenges here and there. Uh, Waves has a different approach. They provide a plugin for each version, and mm, once again, you know, kind of um, can be advantage. Obviously, uh, it means that we have a lot of plugins. So if you are somebody like me who has a little bit OCD when it comes to the list of plugins in my plugin library, uh, this usually makes me a little bit nervous. There are just too many options. But uh, we have a 9.1.6 track here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in the Immersive Wrapper in 9.1.6 format. Now by itself, the wrapper doesn't do anything. What we need to do is we need to load in a plugin. And uh, the nice thing is now that I can uh, use Waves plugins. Now I don't 
don't have any waste plugins on my system, and I'm going to talk a little bit later about it is. Uh, but what I have is I have VSD3 plugins. Uh, and uh, so what I'm going to do is let, let's just, let's just, I don't know, what are we going to, going to do? We're going to beautify that. So let's let's load in Gulfos. Um, and that essentially means that I now have Gulfos uh, not as a stereo plugin, but as a plugin working on a 9.1.6 track. And I can uh, adjust the parameters of Gulfos for each individual channel individually, or I can adjust it for a group of channels. So let's just play around with that a little bit. So what I can do, for example, is I can select here the tops and then essentially adjust the parameters just for the tops. So I can make them, for example, a little bit brighter. And that means that the plugin now only acts on the tops. So if I go to the surround, I don't have any parameter set. So I can do something similar or different for the surround channels. And that way I can adjust the parameters of Gulfos for each individual track or channel or for each individual group of channels. And that actually is really, really cool. Now, once again, I'm not going to go through all the details, but just a quick reminder, there's also the possibility to add a sidechain, and that works for the VSD3 plugins in exactly the same way as for the Waves plugins. So you have essentially six different sidechains that you can use, and for each sidechain, you can select what channels are acting or contributing to that sidechain. Now, obviously, we can make these adjustments not only for the group, but also for in the, each individual. So if I'm just wants to have, I don't know, this particular channel kind of have a different parameters, I can do that. And that will act only on that channel, but not on the other one. Well, actually, in this case, in this case it actually acts on everything because I have had selected everything. So let's just uh, select none and then just this. If I now add that in, I essentially have the parameters for the other top channels differently. So I first need to select none in order to be able to kind of select each channel individually. And that is actually really, really cool. And that allows you to use pretty much any VSD3 plugin um, for immersive audio. Uh, now it has to support mono um, audio, but I am not aware of a lot of plugins that are stereo only. So most plugins usually also have the mono option, so you can use almost anything. I tried it with Schoolforce, I tried it with Sooth, <laughs> another beautifier, which I, I thought, and it worked really well. Um, it really, really does work really well. So this is this is absolutely cool. Um, really great plugin. Very glad that Waves added the functionality to load in VST3 plugin because this increases the functionality of this plugin substantially. Uh, it makes it substantially more interesting. And, uh, you know, kind of I'm going to talk a little bit about why you might or might not want to use that. But if you are okay with having Waves plugins on your system, then this is a must-have. So what's my final verdict? Well, I think this additional feature of being able to work with any VSD3 plugin makes the Immersive Wrapper one of the most interesting plugins in Immersive Audio today. It is very well thought out and ticks all the boxes when it comes to functionality. It only has one major drawback and that is that it comes from Waves. For those of you who are new to audio production, Waves used to be a quite respectable plugin developer. Their plugin bundles were extremely popular among many producers and quite a few people owned their top of the line Mercury bundle, myself included. However, in March 2023, Waves decided to transition to a subscription model. And while that was already controversial enough, what really caused uproar was the way they decided to do that. I still remember waking up one day and finding an email from Waves in my mailbox saying that perpetual licenses did no longer exist since everybody was transitioned into the subscription model. So I, as well as many others, who often spend thousands of dollars on perpetual licenses for Waves plugins, were simply told that our perpetual licenses did no longer exist. Now, even if you don't mind subscription models, the fact that Waves decided to withdraw existing perpetual licenses, which once again, many people paid thousands of dollars for, should give you serious pause. How can it be that a company is so removed from reality that they felt that inactivating perpetual licenses, an action that probably violates every single consumer protection law in the world, is a good idea? 
It was absolutely stunning. I actually had to read the email multiple times because I could not believe that anybody would be able to be that stupid. Now, Waves eventually had to walk that back and they decided to keep perpetual licenses in addition to the subscription model, but by that time the damage was already done. I, like many others, uninstalled all my Waves plugins and I have not reinstalled them since. With the exception of when I'm making a video such like this. And it might not surprise you that once I've finished this video, that immersive wrapper plugin will be uninstalled again. And I'm not alone with that grievance. When I mentioned that I actually liked the immersive wrapper plugin on our Discord server, I triggered a very intense discussion. It turns out that there are many people who would never again touch any Waves plugin under any circumstances. That being said, and all things Waves aside, I do need to point out that this plugin is actually quite outstanding. There's nothing comparable on the market today. It functions exactly how it's supposed to function. Everything that is needed is in there and nothing that is in there is not needed. But it is from Waves. So if you don't mind working with Waves plugins, this is a must have. Otherwise, you probably need to wait until somebody else develops a viable alternative. Well, that's everything for today. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section below or join our free Discord server. The invite link is in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on all things Dolby Atmos and immersive audio. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.